But I can never seem to let you go Cause once upon a time you were my everything It's clear to see the time hasn't bueno. changed us a pesar de la traducción, viste que los, las traducciones son, nos suelen arruinar bastante las películas, no puedo creer lo buena actriz que es esa, esa chica, ni la conozco, no sé, es una película que nunca había visto y tampoco conocía el nombre de esta chica, viste que muchas veces la gente más talentosa no necesariamente es la gente más reconocida o exitosa y muchas veces al revés, la gente más reconocida y exitosa no necesariamente es la más talentosa. ¿Por qué es eso? Con mis entrevistados de hoy, que ya vas a saber quiénes son, vamos a reflexionar sobre esto. ¿Cuáles son las condiciones o las actitudes que nosotros tenemos que tomar para ir por nuestros objetivos y que muchas veces van más allá del talento o no que tengamos. Ellos tienen un mensaje en común muy claro. Así que escúchalos, pero primero quiero que los conozcas. Hoy te voy a presentar a dos jóvenes destacados. Él es Adam Francino. Es norteamericano y uno de los principales fotógrafos de la marca Victoria's Secret. Él es Declan Michael Laird, un reconocido actor escocés de 23 años que vive en Hollywood y que actualmente se está preparando para filmar su próxima serie llamada Habana. ¿Qué tendrán en común estos dos jóvenes? Primero, quiero que los conozcas. Estaban problemas porque, no sé, en otro piso estaban cerruchando el ruido que había y yo digo, no, justo ahora se tiene que poner a hacer esto, justo ahora. Bueno, parece que ya estoy lista. Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you, Adam? Yeah, good, thanks. And you? I, I was so stressed because uh, suddenly there's a neighbor upstairs trying to build something and the noise was just terrible and I, th I thought we couldn't do this and I was really stressed I have to go up there and start asking them what, what was going on and but well finally I'm here and thank you for this time Adam es un fotógrafo que vive en Nueva York y es especializado en moda y belleza como te imaginarás es envidiado por muchos hombres ya que es él quien tiene el lujo de fotografiar a las modelos más hermosas del mundo, como por ejemplo Adriana Lima. What's your next goal? Because you're already one of the main photographers of Victoria's Secret. What are you dreaming of next? You know what? They're, I, I'm, I'm beyond fortunate to to have the opportunity to work for Victoria's Secret. They're an amazing brand. There's no doubt about it. Um, so, you know, that, that's a tough question. I, that's just what you know. They're one part of one part of a, of, um, of the industry of the business, you know, there's plenty of clients and there's, you know, uh, there's fashion clients and there's beauty clients and, and Victoria's Secret happens to be lingerie and swim and beauty. But, um, I never want to be pigeonholed as someone that, that just does one thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So for me, it's really about being diverse, um, keeping true to myself and my, and my, my style, but there's plenty of other things that I'd like to do, um, uh, commercially, Mm -hmm. And and I have personal projects that when the time are right, um, I'm I'm uh, I would love to be a part of. In high school, I, I took photography. It was a class that was offered, and um, I got an opportunity to to take it as an elective. I wanted to do something in film, uh, directing. I thought originally, and because they didn't offer that, I took photography. And and um, to be honest with you, it was sort of one of those things that I I did and and loved from the from the beginning. So um, I've sort of taken it from from the beginning of, of, of high school uh, up into this point and, and have been working at, at you know, making the next steps, whether it was working at a camera shop and then taking my own pictures and then assisting and helping la load sandbags into cars and trying to get on sets and whatever it was that I could do just to have someone notice me, um, whatever I could learn, any questions I could ask, um, I was always doing and, and sort of ran with it from there. Acabo de llegar eh, a esta castinera. Yo tenía muchas ganas de venir porque 
te quiero mostrar lo que es estar en un casting. ¿Qué, ¿Qué te hacen hacer? ¿Qué te piden? Y bueno, toda esta locura y esta adrenalina de estar enfrente de una cámara y que te pidan hacer cosas que vos todavía no sabes. Estoy sola, espero que me atiendan porque llegué bastante tarde. Eh, pero bueno, hasta que aparezca alguien en este lugar, te presento a mi próximo entrevistado que casualmente es actor, se llama Declan Michael Laird y ya mismo quiero que lo conozcas. Declan es el claro ejemplo del artista que se arriesga por su vocación. Luego de debutar en la telenovela River City de la BBC de Escocia, decidió mudarse a Hollywood. Unas semanas después logró obtener una beca completa para estudiar en uno de los conservatorios más prestigiosos, Stella Adler. Declan ya participó en películas, miniseries y comerciales de prestigiosas marcas. Y su carrera recién comienza. But I'm starting to produce my own stuff and, you know, write and all that kind of stuff. And I would say that I'm on a path. I don't know where it's going to go, but I like it so far and I'm working hard and wherever it takes me, like my door is open to like whatever, to see what happens. I used to be a professional soccer player in Scotland. Okay. Uh, so I left high school at 15. Mm -hmm. I didn't graduate. I signed professionally. And since that day, I, I think I had to grow up very quickly. People say I'm mature for my age, and I think that's the reason why, because from 15, I was in the big, the big boy world, the real world. You know? How old are you now? 22. Okay, yeah. And uh, unfortunately, when I was 18, I got injured. 17, sorry. I got injured playing soccer, and I could never play again. Buscamos actrices entre 18 y 25, las más cools y mandadas, cortes de pelo, copados, hipsters, estilo en Nueva York y skater. Cools y mandadas. O sea, ¿cuál es el significado de un vestuario cool? Estuve como media hora probándome cosas. ¿Cómo puedo estar cool? O sea, no sé, me puse este pañuelo y supongo que eso es estar cool. Y mandada peor. ¿De qué es ser mandado? ¿Cómo puedo hacerme la mandada en un castillo? Corte de pelo copado, hipster, supongo, estilo Nueva York y skater. Yo no soy skater, pero bueno, asumí que era tipo estilo Nueva York y estilo skater. Bueno. Tendré que aprender a hacer skate. I I could have went, you know, like oh, you know, felt hard done by, and but I just looked at well, if I can't do this, then what can I do? One of the questions that I like to ask to all these professional successful people that I have been interviewing is uh, how they see su success. Yeah, I think I think you know it's funny. I think everyone sets their own goals and 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 has their own idea of success. For me, it's um. It's a balance for me. It's about being able to be recognized by my peers, to have um, to have nice things said about me at the end of a day when I leave set, and to and to take nice pictures, and also balance that with my personal life. You know, I mean, and I think that goes in any any profession. When you keep your head down and you work, 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 and you pick your head up, um, some other part of your life might suffer for it. And I think to me now, uh, success means to balance everything and. Um, And, and enjoy life as much as I can, as, as well as um, be as successful as I can. Success for me is it's the magnitude of the beneficial footprint that I leave when I'm gone. Because that's what we do. That's why we do it. We do it so that, God, have you ever came out of a movie or a theater show and you're like, like, God, I know what that's like, or it really just like hits you. That's why we do it. That's success for me. Mm -hmm. I'm lucky to have parents that fully, like, emotionally support me as an actor. Mm -hmm. And they're so supportive. And I can have such, like, little things bother me. And I get, like, so, like, quick to get frustrated by things. Mm -hmm. But they, they, they support me so much. And if I have great parents in the sense that if I'm ever becoming too Hollywood, just... like, if I ever say something, my dad will be like, Why don't you just relax and sit yeah. down? Like, 
Why you just shut up? All right. right. Bueno, finalmente me acaban de llamar al casting. Eh, escucha, ya tengo que entrar, pero voy a intentar dejar la cámara prendida para que veas lo que es estar ahí adentro y que te estén examinando y todas las preguntas que te hacen y qué hay que hacer. Mientras tanto, vamos al corte y ya volvemos con más denominador común. No te vayas, porque viene mucho más de Adam y de Declan y además vamos a chusmear qué es estar adentro de un casting. Dos jóvenes destacados. Él es Adam Francino, es norteamericano y uno de los principales fotógrafos de la marca Victoria's Secret. Él es Declan Michael Laird, un reconocido actor escocés de 23 años que vive en Hollywood y que actualmente se está preparando para filmar su próxima serie llamada Habana. ¿Qué tendrán en común estos dos jóvenes? You mentioned you were like helping people and just doing it for the passion, not for money. Or uh, did you feel kind of uncomfortable those moments? You know, when you're young and you're you look at yourself and you say, "Wow, look at what I'm doing just to get uh, to get a, yeah, an opportunity." You know? Absolutely. I think um, it always felt right to me. You know, I never was after money. I was never after or feeling like I should be paid for for my time. You know, for me. It was about it was about uh, being on set and about seeing how a shoot happened and, and how the photographer interacted and how hair and makeup acted and stylist and I was able to to see that you know I, I knew uh, I was I was there um, to stay you know to help give a hand to the other assistants and to never talk to not be seen and um, and to take what I could from the day and and put it towards you know my own work when I was trying to to Uh, to build my portfolio at the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actors are always in class. I yeah. tell people that yeah. even I was in a class about a month ago and uh, Julianne Moore was in it. Wow. Wow. But I say, people say wow and I say uh, Messi, Leo Messi is the best soccer player ever. Yeah. He doesn't not go to training <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You know, he's still there Monday morning to Friday. If anything, he's working harder every That's day so than everyone true. else. That's why he's the best. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he's never going to stop that because it's in him. And that's what I that's the attitude I try and give out. Right. Hola. Maite. Ah, sí. Me gustaría grabarlo como para después verme y ver nada, si puedo mejorar. Apoyan ahí acá. Bueno, decime tu nombre, apellido, edad. ¿Ya? Sí, ahora. Bueno, soy Maite Pistinar, tengo 24 años. Mira la cámara, por favor. Bueno, soy Maite Pistinar, tengo 24 años y soy actriz. Me gusta mucho entrevistar gente, entrevisto gente de todo el mundo. Perfecto, ¿y hace cuánto haces skate? Yo no soy skater. Skate. O sea, lo decís por la, el mail. Claro. Es que lo que razón. pasa es que estaba medio complicado, tío. Gente cool, me vino bastante cool. Traté de ser lo más cool del mundo, estilo Nueva York y skater. Yo pensé que era como el estilo Nueva York y estilo skater, pero no pensé que era tipo que seas efectivamente un skater. ¿Y qué hago? ¿Hago el casting o no? Eh... ¿Sabes qué? Lo voy a hacer. Hay una cosa que me decía mi mamá siempre y es que eh, como que hay que aprovechar la oportunidad en donde estamos. Quizás, bueno, seguramente no quede en este casting porque no sé hacer skate, nunca en mi vida hice skate, pero no sé, quizás la persona que selecciona este casting también está seleccionando para otro casting y me ve y le gusta para otra cosa. No sé, así que, bueno, está llegando chico, me da mucha vergüenza que me vea así. You know, you, you see a lot when you're assisting. So, for instance, you know, when, I'm, when I was on set with, with different photographers, uh, you know, up and coming, not only do you get to see a lot of great things of what you would do, but you also see things that you would do differently. You know, you're not there to, to flirt with a girl. You're not there to try and date the girl. I mean, that was never, that was never my, my interest in this. You know, for me, it's all about the picture and it's all the focus. And, um, and the relationships that I build with the girls and, and, you know, a lot of them are my friends and they're really, really cool girls and we're able to create something special together. And I think his 
long as you go into something with the right intentions and really work at it. And I treat it like a nine to five, like every day, all day that I'm moving towards it. And then at night I relax. Mm -hmm. I try and surround myself with people who are moving forward constantly. I don't want to hang around with people who are sitting at the standard pool on a Wednesday because I want to be making my life happen on a Wednesday. So what advice would you give to any young uh, person in the world who's wanting to create his career as a photographer? Um, you know, I, I think if someone would have showed me a crystal ball of, of, of what it would take to get to the point I'm even at, I would have been very discouraged. You know, it's really hard. Um, you know, you're always emailing, you're always reaching out, you're always in touch with your agent, you're always coming up with ideas for editorial. Um, you, you're you're constantly you're constantly working, even if you're not working on set. So yeah. it, it never stops, and um, that's why I think having not why I think why I know you got to have a real passion for the business. If you don't breathe it and love it and live it, and I know it sounds cliche. Mm -hmm. um, There's 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 a, a line of guys behind you and women that would be happy to to take over what you're doing. So it's constantly working and, and staying on top of yourself. Resulta que había un chico que toda su vida quería ganar la lotería. Toda su vida su sueño era quiero ganar la lotería, pero quiero ganar la lotería. Entonces todas las noches de su vida lo que hacía era sentarse a rezar y a pedirle a Dios, por favor Dios, lo único que te pido en esta vida es que me quiero ganar la lotería. Todas las noches, una tras otra, todos los años, meses de su vida, toda la vida esperando ganarse la lotería hasta que finalmente llega el día y Dios baja de los cielos y le dice por favor lo único que yo te pido a vos es que te compres un ticket de la lotería. Declan, do you believe in luck? Um, no, I believe in hard work and preparation meets opportunity is luck. If you work hard enough and you are prepared in all aspects of your career and life, when the opportunity of something meets you and you're ready to take it, that's a combination of two things that makes luck, I think. Yeah. I don't believe people get lucky. They Because anyone who books a job or does anything has done something right. Whether it's meet the right people by going to the right place, saying the right things, they've done something right. So there's no luck involved. Mm -hmm. You should be happy the whole journey. You shouldn't be chasing something. Mm -hmm. Like people will say, when, when do you think you'll make it? I'm like, I fully support myself as an actor. I don't need another job right now. I've made it. Right. <laughs> in a sense. Especially I've not made artist. it in a sense yeah. of like, I'm not where I want to be work-wise where my work's projected to as many people as I'd like but I know I'll get there and I I, I wouldn't want to be there because this is the process right right That's you know it. this this is it this is what we isn't the journey what we do it for I would say just continue to work as hard as you can I would say follow your heart follow what's what's what you enjoy shooting because there'll be some day when you when you do make it that You're gonna have to shoot stuff you don't necessarily love to do. I suggest have a side project, something that keeps you, something that keeps you interested and going. And um, and the commercial stuff, when it does come, um, will allow for you to keep the lights on and fund those other projects as well. But at that point, the early stage in the game, it's just to keep your head down, mm -hmm. um, get on set if you can, assist, you know, um, ask as many questions as possible, and 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 just keep working at it. You know, mm -hmm. hopefully it comes around. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Adam. Do you want to add anything else, maybe, to the conversation? No. Thanks for having me. Thanks for doing this. It was, it was a pleasure to be part of it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. And yeah, I'll see you next time, maybe. Great. Thanks so much. Bye. Take care. Bueno, acaba de terminar el casting. Vamos a sacar esta pincha ridícula para ver. 
Claramente no voy a quedar en este casting, pero aprendí bastante, te digo. Está bueno estar abiertos a fracasar, al error, pero lo más importante es que uno tiene que estar abierto a aprender de las experiencias. Y creo que eso es lo que Adam y The Clan más me remarcaron. Esta capacidad de aprender antes de despedirte. Este episodio de Denominador Común va a cerrar de manera bastante especial, porque... No quiero que te vayas sin antes escuchar esta reflexión que me hizo Declan sobre lo que son las redes sociales hoy en día. Así que te despido, mirá esta reflexión, decime qué pensás, mándamelo por Twitter, por Facebook y bueno, te espero la próxima en Denominado Común. What would you say to your generation if there's anything you would say? The amount of likes that you have on a photo does not define who you are as a person. That's what I would say. Yeah, right. And it does not define the way in which you should treat other people because it's all bullshit, really. We are the most insecure generation ever. Thanks to some. By community. far. Yeah. We're addicted to that little like love heart thing because it makes us feel loved. Well, loved or like worthy of something. But you've got to know that if you, you'll only ever be happy when you're either doing what you love or moving towards a goal that you know you'll get to. Y la semana que viene te voy a presentar a dos jóvenes que a simple vista no tienen nada en común. Andrew Morgan es norteamericano y un conocido director de cine. Aras Asadian es iraní y un exitoso empresario que reside en Canadá. ¿Qué tendrán en común? Te espero la próxima para que juntos descubramos el denominador común. Oh. <risa> 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 <risa>